Hey, it's Father Taylor, and today is the 16th and of March, and it's time for your weekly e-blast, sometimes called weekend update. Uh, coming up just tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm just making sure I get this right, at uh, 1230. So it's a daytime, 1230 at the church. Uh, our deacon, Deacon Denise, will uh, is leading a group uh, through the Stations of the Cross, we have those already set up in the church sanctuary. If you've never done that, it's a great practice, which reflects on uh, the every step, basically, that Jesus takes on the way of the cross. And uh, uh, I think she's even offering if people want to do um, something else, she has a little thing for afterwards. So it takes about 45 minutes all together. It's a great discipline. So if you're able to, to have the time off, if you're here around in, in midday, I really encourage you to come on over to the church for 1230 for Stations of the Cross. Uh, on every Sunday, uh, we have following the this, this 915 service, we have, we call it Breakfast Alpha. It's just a little breakfast. People get together and we've been working through this uh, during Lent. We've been working through a book called Lent for Everyone with the Gospel of Matthew. The book's by N.T. Wright. You can find it in on uh online at Amazon and, and have it on your on your uh, tablet or your phone. You can have it in, in two minutes. So it's really easy to access. We do have some books at the church, uh, but it traces. It's just kind of walking you through the Gospel of Matthew, which is a great thing to do any time of the year, uh, but something we're doing together during the this time of Lent. Uh, if you've never been to any of them, no problem. You can just go on up, jump on a table, grab some breakfast, and uh, there's a short video and there's some discussions that go on. It's really been helpful. So people have really been uh, finding um, more and more of God in that. So I just uh, encourage you for that. We also have coming up on Sunday, Sunday at four o'clock, it's Lenten Evensong. So Evensong is just a British way of saying evening prayer with the song. Uh, so some of you do morning prayer. Uh, or if you're not familiar with it in the prayer book, the two principal services during the week are morning prayer and evening prayer. And uh, this one is evening prayer put to, put, to, put to music. So what would it be like? There's some particular readings that we do. Uh, there's about a five minute tops uh, sermon, and, but it's all sung. It's a very powerful service and we're using it during Lent. So it's got the theme of Lent involved. So I encourage you to come out and to bring your friends. This is gonna be a great, I think the choir has like 20 people in it for this event. They've been working pretty hard. So you will really be uh, kind of, it'll surround you and fill you. And it'll be a fantastic thing to be involved with. That's this Sunday at uh, four o'clock. And you can invite as many people as you like to that. So that's coming up on, on Sunday at four. This Saturday, uh, there will be the burial service for a person that, um, People, she attended uh, Trinity Church years ago, uh, but not many people remember her, but she's part of our family. And so we'll be celebrating her life and, uh, and doing the rite of Christian burial, which is always the celebration of the resurrection. Uh, and her name was, um, uh, was right there, right there, Maureen Nolan LeClaire. And that service is on Saturday at 10. Now you might say, I don't remember her. Well, here's one of the reasons I'm inviting you is we're gonna have about 75 to 100 people come and uh, most of them have never been to Trinity before. And we're the hosts. Right now, Paula and I are coming and it's really difficult for us uh, to juggle both doing what we do uh, for the service and to host everybody. So I need some people to come uh, 9.30 just to help people uh, get ushered in and get set. Uh, singers, we always need singers because folks that don't attend church a lot often come in and even though the hymns are familiar, they don't sing. Uh, and so I've, we need some people to help us worship and to help uh, honor and celebrate the life of um, Maureen and also to celebrate the resurrection hope that we have. So I just, uh, I'm inviting anybody who wants to come. Uh, so just come on out to that and you can be a help. If you wanna come, send me a text Send me, call me on the phone, send me an email, let me know you're coming. Um, uh, Amanda's coming in to help kind of do some coffee and things for folks ahead of time. But I could really use like uh, four to six people just to come help, just kind of like uh, help the group. So anyway, so that's that'll be Saturday at 10 o'clock. Some other things coming up for you that you might want to know a lot. You know, we're very close with the folks at Towerful School. 
Uh, and just letting you know that the uh, school auction, they have a silent auction over there, help raise money for a variety of things they do over there. But uh, they got a great auction, which uh, starts 6 a.m. on the uh, 18th and ends March 26th at 5. Uh, and it's an online silent auction. So you can go there to the, um, you can look on the printed part of this. It's got the whole address. You can go and see if there's anything you like, make a bid. All the money goes to help our friends over at Towerful School, our neighbors. So that's coming up. Also coming up, just to remind you, is the Palm Cross Workshop. Bill Pascucci is uh, heading that up again. And so on uh, Tuesday, March 28th, 5 p.m., uh, call your families. Let your families know. We're going to have people coming in. He's going to have uh, pizza, I believe. Uh, so it's just a great thing. It's kind of like a, a celebration. They're going to work on the Palm Crosses together uh, and teach you how to do that. I, I know I know lots of kids who grew up to be adults that don't remember too much about church, but man, they're like great at making uh, Palm Crosses. So that means, all that means is, is that's the kind of thing that really has an impact. So uh, um, invite your kids, invite invite some of our young families to come. So that's the 28th, five o'clock. Uh, and you don't have to reserve, but it'd be good to know if you were coming. All right, that's what I got for this week. God bless you. And we're looking forward to uh, seeing you this weekend. And uh, may the Lord be with you in all that you do. And uh, may your witness of the Lord uh, go out and help someone else find Jesus uh, in this week. Thank you.